Hello, and welcome to Buki's first 10 Talk. I am Deborah Repko, the Application and Technical Support Manager at Buki Corporation. Buki is a global provider of laboratory equipment providing products and solution supporting pharma, chemical, food feed, and environmental markets, and of course, academia. For today's talk, we will be discussing drying of biotherapeutic compounds. And no, this is not an oxymoron. Many biotherapeutic compounds like proteins, enzymes, biologics, and amino acids are temperature sensitive, yet can be made to be more robust and gently dried into powdered formats, which is the premise of today's 10 talk. We will be discussing both spray drying and freeze drying. We have heard much over the last few years about proteins and how cold chain storage was utilized to maintain both shelf life and long-term stability of COVID vaccines. Biotherapeutic compounds dried into powdered formats is a big win from a cost perspective, storage, stability, and a transportation perspective. This has been a long-standing issue, especially in developing countries. R&D efforts have been done in this area for many years with literature, references to support both of these drying technologies. We can maintain the viability of biotherapeutics through formulation changes by adding excipients that will act as both stabilizers and cryoprotectants in order to safely be dry. Examples of excipients typically are sugars, such as trelose, mannitol, lactose, as well as buffer solutions and lipids, to name a few common ingredients. We can utilize spray drying technology to produce particles that have specific size and shape. Spray drying is a gentle drying technology because we are choosing our temperature of exposure. Spray drying utilizes the principle of evaporation and uses a nozzle to atomize the formulation into small droplets and those small droplets become our dry powder. We can adjust the parameters to design particle size, our time of exposure, and of course, temperature. The resulting outlet temperature is the resulting exposure of the particles. Freeze drying is another option to dry particles where the formulation is subjected to the act of sublimation. This is done by first freezing our sample, applying a vacuum where we go from a solid state to a gas phase to be dried. This can be accomplished in beaker flasks with different size vessels inside, or we can do a more advanced drying in small vials with heated shelves and software to build drying methods and monitor the full process. And this will help maintain viability. Once again, we can select the parameters and the formulations to preserve the integrity of the biotherapeutic compounds. Freeze drying has been a long recognized manufacturing process of vaccines. It is my hope that today's talk has led you to consider how to avoid this cold chain storage by gently converting your biotherapeutics into alternate formats. We at Buki are here to help you with your formulation challenges while working with biotherapeutic compounds and other pharmaceuticals. We thank you for watching.